What's going on, y'all? This is Cajun Tactical, and I'm back with another video. So before I even get started, I wanted to thank y'all. Man, it's been a really good run for me here with YouTube, and I got like over 5,500 subscribers. Gosh, I owe that all to y'all, man. Thank y'all for the support that y'all have given me and allowed me to get to where I'm at. And another thing, um, now I'm monetized, so man, that's, that's awesome. That was a real big accomplishment for me. So, man, once again, thank y'all, and man, shout out to everybody that has something to do with it. Um, man, shout out to y'all, which is the most important thing, because y'all watching my videos, so I want to keep them coming. So this evening, I want to do a cleaning video. It's going to be on the JTS 12 gauge. So I had a couple subscribers that asked me to do a video on how I clean it. Now, guys, you know, everybody's got their own way of cleaning guns. I'm going to just show you my way, and it works, you know, not saying it's the right way or the wrong way, but it definitely works, so, and hopefully y'all can pick something up. If y'all got any questions, share in the, uh, in the comments. Hit me up and let me know. Man, thank y'all for the support. Once again, I'm going to get set up. I'll see y'all here in a minute. All right, y'all, so it's time to clean this 12 gauge. So I am cleaning the T1, which, once again, I want to say thank you to JTS for loaning me this to do reviews and man let y'all see what it is so all right we're gonna start we're gonna break it apart and we're gonna push this in and pull the dust cover off so this is one different thing that's from the uh mk12 has a hinge dust cover this one just comes completely off just like an ak which by far is better and then we're gonna pull the spring out okay set the spring right here because we're going to clean that as well. And then here, we're going to pop bolt carrier, bolt carrier group. We're going to take that off, and we're going to pull it apart, just like this. All right, y'all. There's not a whole, whole lot up in here that we're going to clean. But So me, personally, I do use Shooter Lube. Um, it's one of the best products that I've used, and I stand behind it. And just so y'all know, I'm not getting paid for none of this. So this is what I bought with my own money. So we're going to get started. I'm going to spray all the parts off first. So we're going to take this and spray it off. And we got to let it sit for a few minutes. So I'm going to spray this. I'm going to spray the spring. Get it nice. And we're going to let it sit and let that solvent get into it. Now, we'll tell you all this. Mine's pretty clean because uh, I clean it every time I shoot it. So there ain't going to be a whole lot come off. This is just so y'all can see it and if y'all got any questions man hit it in the, the comments and then i'm gonna spray it down in here which is the most important part get that down and then i'm gonna get it up in the barrel in the feed ramp all right y'all so um i mean that's right there it's going i'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes and then um we'll be right back and show you how it gets clean So everything else is ready. I forgot to spray a little bit of cleaner. I like to clean the dust cover as well. So I'm going to let that one sit while I do everything else because that is the last piece that goes on. All right, so we'll start with the bolt. So just take your patch, you know, whatever you use, patch, paper towels, whatever it may be, and, man, just get it nice, clean. Just get all that stuff off. Huh? Got a good bit coming off. I guess maybe last time I... Didn't do as good of a job as I should have. Uh, bolt's going to look good. Okay. There we go. All right, guys, that bolt's ready. So now, let's get this cleaned off. And like I said, just use your patch or paper towels, whatever it is, whatever's your favorite thing to clean with. Have at it. Get all up in the cracks. Get up in here. Okay. Man, the shooter lube works really good, y'all. Um, I'm almost out of it, actually. I've got another bottle ordered, and I got the big kit. I got um, the double. It was like, I think, I don't remember what I paid for it. But, man, this stuff's good. It doesn't even really matter. Boy, look at that. That was dirty. I thought it was clean, not really. All right, so we got the bolt, and now let's get the spring. I'm going to go with a new patch. Okay, get 
get spring cleaned. And remember, I got the dust cover um, getting clean as well. I forgot about that. But you always want to clean the dust cover too because the inside of it gets a lot of that nasty stuff, especially if you use cheap ammo, which I like to use. And I like to use cheap and it makes a gun dirty. And that's why I clean mine every time I shoot it. All right, so now we gotta get the inside, which I just stick my hands down up in there. Just, you know, the solvent's in there, it's up in there good. Just make sure you get all this nasty stuff out with this dirty ammo. These shells are dirty, dirty when you go with the cheap ones, but however, right now, Cheap's the best way to go for me. I don't mind cleaning my gun after I shoot it. That's all it does is make it dirty. And since I like mine clean, I clean it every time. Even if I don't shoot dirty rounds, I still clean it. I'm just sick like that, I guess. Patch. Get up in here in the mag well. Make sure you get all them little particles, uh, all that stuff those dirty shells throw out. It makes them nasty. And then um, I'm also going to grab my bore brush, which I'm going to get that here in a second, and I'm going to run it through the barrel. Trigger all up in here. All right, y'all. Give me one moment. Let me grab my uh, my brush so we can get everything finished. All right, y'all. So um, I got the bore brush and I'm gonna just run it down the barrel a few times. Just to get all that big nasty stuff out of it. Now, after that, what I like to do is I take the patch, I wrap the patch around the brush. Okay, like this so. And then I'm gonna spray it with some solvent. And you know that shooter lube, um, man, stuff is, is really good. Really good. They got me. That's about the only stuff I really like to use. If I don't have shooter lube, I'll use CLP. Yeah, oh, that does well, look at that. Nasty, all right, so that's good there. And man, the, that's done. And one of the things that I really like about the shooter lube is this has that precision applicator. So I can put very drop, However many drops I want in each part and, and place it perfectly. So, man, this stuff is awesome. That metal hits metal. So I'll start off on the rails. A little bit there. Make sure that's good. Then I'm going to put a little bit on the hammer. And then where the hammer is connected... And then I'm gonna take the trigger and pop it and release the hammer. And I'm gonna put a little bit under here. Yeah, move it around and get it moving, flowing. All right, a little bit there. Remember any place that metal hits metal is where you want it, okay. So that's really about all I'm going to, oh, let me put a little bit here. Head to the side. Okay. Sometimes my big head gets in the way, I apologize. All right. So now, let's put a little bit on the boat. I like to be honest with you, y'all. I like to pretty much all everything. Put a little bit here and I'm going to rub it in. Can't hurt to be good and lubed. All right. Then I'll just take my hands and I'll just get it all over like that. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to do the same with the bolt. and wet it's the only way you want it mm. all right and then not a whole lot on the spring just a, just a little bit just a little wetness and then I like to rub it on my hands just get it around like that and move it around And now, so we've had a few minutes for the dust cover to sit. So let me get all this out of that dust cover. I don't put any oil inside the dust cover. It's clean. Looks great. All right. All right, y'all. So we're about done. Really, all we need to do is reassemble everything. So first thing I'm going to do, put the bolt back together. this. Let's see. Okay. All right. So when you put the bolt back together, now this part gets a lot of people. It could get very frustrating, but you got to understand how it fits in and, and works. You want it to be flat across, just like that, going straight ahead. You got to hold it with your hand. Okay. So when you put it in, you're going to slide it in here. And then you're going to drop it right at the end, just like, oh, uh, you got to put the hammer down. Okay, all right, fix that, get it straight. And then this is the part, it gets a lot of people. You got to find that groove, which is right here in the back. You just set it in. And once you do that, push it to the front, snaps in. Now, y'all, it took me a minute to be able to do that. Um, a lot of aggravation trying to find the right spot to fit the bolt. But um, it's good to go. All right, so we're going to put the spring in. Right there, just like the AK. Slide that on the top. And then the dust cover. That's going to pretty much about do us right there. Slides just like that. Well, let's hear it. Turn that on. Man, like butter, y'all. Works perfectly. Feels great. It's smooth. Very smooth. So, um, well, y'all, that's about it. You know, uh, if y'all got any questions, hit it in the comments and let me know. I'll answer any one that I can. And hopefully this was helpful to y'all. And, um, man, I look forward to doing the next video. And, hey, man, y'all let me know. It's Cajun Tactical signing out. Y'all have a great one.